Now, Mr. Benson, I'm so sorry to have taken you away from your usual daily fares of dog track, but uh, there are more pressing matters for you to be concerned with. You see, the money you were betting with, it was not yours. It belonged to our boss and your former business partner. Now, I'm a simple man, Mr. Benson, but it seems to me that when a partner just up and leaves town without any explanation or justification or even a simple phone call to a former business partner, well, that's just plain rude. However, we have managed to locate the missing funds and everything is almost completely taken care of. You. Oh yes, we are going to kill you, but allow me one more minute to sum up. There is a passage I've memorized which I like to recite to those I eliminate. Consider it last rites. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know that my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon hey. thee. What are you doing? What the fuck does he look like I'm doing last rites? Back the fuck up while I finish. Hey, that's not last rites, man. That's from a movie. What? Pulp Fiction? I know it's from a movie, but it's fucking cool! You're embarrassing yourself, man. You're acting like a child. I'm trying to knock this motherfucker off, and you're getting in my way! Not, not this time, no. Go over there where I was standing. What the fuck? Go over there by the wall. What the fuck? I'll finish this, then what we the can go. Fuck? Over there! Ah, uh, yes. Fucking kid. The last rites. I'm sorry, my associate tends to wax on about familiar pop culture references that are anything but. Blame my Catholic upbringing if you must. But the sins of this lifetime should stay on the mortal coil and not carry with you to the next realm. I mean, purgatory's a bitch. Waiting in nothingness for judgment? It's not for me. And not for you, my friend. This prayer is something that was passed down to me and I shall absolve you of your sins with it. And shepherds we shall be, for thee, my lord, for thee. Power hath descended forth from thy hand, that our feet may swiftly carry out thy command. Wait. So will flow a river forth to thee, and teeming Wait. with souls shall it ever be. In omni patri, et file, spiritus sancti. Wait! Wait, wait for what? I'm in the middle of last rites here. You fucking liar, that's not last rites. What is it then? That's out of a movie, you fucking hypocrite! No, it's not. Yes, it is. Boondock Saints. Can't come up with anything original, huh? Original? You're quoting Tarantino. Don't talk to me about original. See? Oh. He always does this. Instead of trying to inject fear into our victims, you go ahead and turn this into a fucking circus. If you had come up with something original, we wouldn't be having this argument. Excuse me. Great. Another fucking failure. You screwed it up. No, you fucked it. Had to pretend you don't laugh. Quoting Tarantino. Brilliant. Just brilliant.